you jerk off in your office? I've never done it. What? Never. I've jerked off at every, almost every other job I've had. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you like... <laughs> What's the big deal? Didn't you You're work in advertising for a while? <laughs> You're blasting shit out of your ass. What's the big deal? I agree. Look, I agree. I think there should be jerk-off suites in every <laughs> men's room. <laughs> I think that should be an option. Anytime I have a jerk-off, it's I, it's like a min- I have like 60 seconds. It's like a mission. There's, someone just walks out to deliver a cheese plate to the guests, and you're like... <laughs> oh, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much. And I think I have such a good marriage that my wife, that we, that we know, like, we know, so, like, my wife will be like, you have five minutes, you can jerk off if you want, but then meet me downstairs because we have to take all to school. Shut your mouth. Yeah. Has she ever caught you? Or oh, that- billions of times. <laughs> billions of times. And do you stop, or are you like, this is me, baby? It depends on the, that's when the jerk-offs are different. <laughs> I've never been like, this is me, baby. Because <laughs> she'd be like, yeah, I know. We, last time I saw you... We're in we Texas. Were in Texas. Yeah, a, state. a hell gig. That was a hell gig. It felt like a rich person's New Year's Eve party. Yes. Where they had hired a bunch of comics to just be there. Because, because I couldn't hear. All I could hear were the conversations. Yeah, I couldn't. Oh, I could hear like a mil. I, I think I heard like four people say they were going to see Childish Gambino. <laughs> I saw him later that night with you. So we went. We both went to see. We're super supportive. Yeah. I th- no, I uh, I knew. I met Donald. He was eighteen, and like. From the moment we hung out, I was like, you're Eddie Murphy. You're yeah. the funniest person I've ever met in my life. Yeah. I still think he is. Yeah. He, it's a shame, I think, that people don't get to see it because Cause, cause cause he's, he's, a, he's a music star. But he, to me, is the funniest person, hands down, I've met. I like that we said we went to support him when there were like 48 teenage girls that would have cut off my face to see the show. Oh, yeah. I went to see him. I went to like, I stopped by like backstage to see him. Did you get in? Because I got a text saying you were there from Nick to get you well, in. Well, Nick and I didn't actually get in at first and, and I was so pumped because someone told me I was going to get an Xbox if I showed up. Did they not give you an Xbox? They did, but the doorman was like, we're at full capacity. And not that he would know anything, but I was like, well, what about my Xbox? <laughs> they, gave, they were giving out Xboxes? Like left and right. I didn't get an Xbox. I saw like three South by Southwest Homeless people get Xboxes. <laughs> I want to walk into my room and be like, Xbox on. Go, Xbox, five minutes, jerk off. <laughs> Xbox is like, you have 30 seconds. <laughs> Adam Pally, thank you as always. Pete, Coming back to the show. Pete, it's a, always a pleasure. You're welcome anytime. Cool. Um, do you still need, need me to lend you money? If I could talk to you off, off camera. What's the difference? <laughs> Again, no one watches this. We are basically off camera.